Welcome to OpenIO Storage Talk. I'm Enrico Signoretti and in this video we will talk about serverless computing. Let's start with the definition of serverless computing and clarify that the name serverless is a misnomer. It doesn't mean that servers are required to run the code but just the developers can focus on their code and the infrastructure will take care of the rest. In fact, the decision about server capacity and management are automated and completely hidden from the developer. Serverless computing is a microservices architecture, where instead of building monolithic applications, these applications are assembled from small single purpose services. The server computing framework usually provides a standard API that developers can use to build functions. A function is a relatively small piece of code associated with some configuration information, such as its name, description, and resource requirements. The code must be written in stateless style, assuming there is no affinity with the underlying computing infrastructure. Any persistent state should be stored in an object store or an external database service. Unlike what happens in other, more traditional computing models, serverless is aimed at supporting applications that strongly depend on third-party services. And more recently, a serverless architecture has come to be defined by stateless computer resources such as ephemeral containers or functions triggered by events. Because of its characteristics, the function is very simple and execution time is usually limited to a few seconds. In fact, most service providers charge for this type of service by the millisecond, leading developers to focus on code optimization instead of the components and services necessary to run complex applications in containers or virtual machines. Because of this, serverless computing platforms can be very scalable, able to run thousands of functions concurrently without worrying about scalability. It is very common that a specific function is triggered directly by an event that is generated from an infrastructure component, like a storage platform, a messaging system, or an IoT device. Integrating the serverless framework and storage is very useful. Each event that happens at the storage layer, boot, get, update, delete, etc., can be intercepted, and the function associated with that particular event triggered to perform specific tasks. These tasks can be as simple as raising an alarm or more complex like image recognition, pattern matching, video transcoding, full test indexing and so on. The output of the function could be an enhanced file or object, enriched metadata or messages or information passed on to other systems, including updating databases. Serverless computing is a new programming approach to complex IT problems. Scalability, performance and other infrastructure issues that are not directly related to the solution itself are no longer visible to the developer, simplifying and improving the overall development process. By slicing problems into small pieces and solving them with lightweight functions triggered by events, programming logic is simplified and code is much easier to maintain. From the business point of view, this kind of solution leads to faster development while getting the best from the infrastructure and having the ability to increase the quality and the value of that stored in it. I hope this video gave you an idea of the concept behind serverless computing and how it works. You can find more information on our website www.openio.io or you can follow us on Twitter. Thank you for watching and see you for a new episode of OpenIO Storage Talk. Bye bye!